Happy Monday, and today is Mask Monday, and we're gonna do a little something different today. We're gonna do a hair mask. So if this sounds interesting, hit the subscribe button and keep on. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. I did get this video, I'm getting this video up a little bit late today. Um, last week has been pretty hectic and then carried over into this week. My cat was pretty sick, but she's doing better now. So hopefully we've turned the corner and we're on the road to recovery. So she wasn't eating and stuff, but much better now. Okay, so I have this hair mask here by Hip Chick. Hip Chick and it's called the Bling Bling Ponytail Hair Mask. And I've never done a hair mask before. This one said that you could tie dry or wet hair into a low ponytail. So I thought it'd be interesting because most hair masks, when I think of them, I think of on wet hair. So I want to try it on dry hair and see what it does. And it's interesting because the directions say in a low pony. So originally I would think a low pony is like right here. But the pictures all show her kind of in a high pony. So who knows? So I didn't go real high, but I didn't go low. So kind of in the middle there. It says it's supposed to fortify and strengthen smooth and soften, damage and repair care. Okay, so it says it's for formulated with fortified royal jelly, nourishing shea butter, and a blend of golden oils and extracts, including argon oil, sorry, argon, olive, and bergamot oil. Don't know what that is, but, and I'm probably saying it wrong. But this luxurious, luxurious, intense, and lightweight ponytail hair mask improves dry, frizzy, and damaged hair, imparting intense nutrition and incredible shine in 30 minutes. So again, you tie dry or wet hair into a low ponytail, insert ponytail into special cloth mask, secure the cloth mask with a hair tie, gently massage the ponytail in cloth mask to disperse evenly, leave on for 15 to 30 minutes and remove the cloth mask, no need to rinse. So I'm very interested in this and I just realized I don't have a hair, another hair tie, so hang on. Okay, so now I have another hair tie. So let's get this bad boy open and see what it is. A bling bling hair ponytail, I expect it to have something on it. Well, it's kind of interesting because most hair masks, or most face masks, when you open them, has all the product around and but this is dry, it looks like. So we pull it out. This is what it looks like. It feels like there's some, you can tell there's something in here, but it's not like a sheet mask where there's product all around it. Okay, so inter, insert ponytail into special cloth mask, secure with a hair tie. Okay. So we're gonna unfold it. I don't know if this is supposed to be a hair tie or what that is, but that certainly will not hold my hair. So here's how it looks. So there's, and you can see there's some product down in there. It kind of looks like a shampoo or conditioner. And it smells kind of like a shampoo. Let's see. And, whoops, their little ponytail holder just fell. So I think I got it in there. Okay, and secure with a hair cloth. <laughs> so, I guess over here, I'm just gonna go around it and see. So I'm kind of, I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm kind of thinking maybe there's two little tabs here that maybe you're supposed to with their, their thing, but okay. So then it says gently massage the ponytail and cloth to disperse evenly. So here's kind of what it looks like. So the product was at the end of the 
bag. So I'm going to try to push my ponytail around and gently massage the ponytail. So you can't feel any other product. It's not wet or messy. I didn't put any makeup on because I wasn't sure if this was going to be messy or not, but it's not. So I think, so far at least, you could do this even with makeup on. Okay, so I guess that's good. It doesn't really feel that secure, but we'll see. So yeah, it just, like I said, you can't really feel it. You don't smell anything. Like when I open the package, you know, I put my nose in it, I could smell it, but you can't. When you just open it, you can't smell anything. And when it's on your hair, you can't. So we're going to wait 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, so I waited 25 minutes and we're gonna take it off and see how it looks. It says, remove cloth mask and no need to rinse. So let's see here. I'm just gonna pull it off and came off easy. And it does feel a little damp. I don't know if you can really see, but I mean, it's definitely not wet or anything, but it does feel damp. Let me take my hair out of the ponytail, although I've had it in a ponytail quite a few days off and on, so. But um, it smells like I just kind of washed my hair. It kind of has that um, just kind of a general shampoo smell and yeah it's not too bad it you know like I said it kind of feels damp it feels how if I was air drying my hair and it was almost all the way dry but not quite that's how it feels um, so I think that you could do it and then for me with my hair is pretty thick for it to be completely dry I think I'd probably have to wait like a half hour or so judging from how it feels. So let me see. I don't know if there'll be a bump in my hair from the ponytail, but if you can kind of see. So let me give my overall thoughts here. Let's see, okay, so there's nothing left in here. Yeah, it just kind of smells. I think that maybe instead of putting another one, another hair tie all the way around, that maybe you were supposed to do that and then twist these and tie it with their holder, but I don't think either way that it would really matter. I did think that, but I guess you wouldn't want it on your hair, that when it's called the bling bling ponytail mask, I was expecting it to be a little bit more than just polka dot, but and let's see, damage here. My hair was kind of frizzy, so I think that that has taken care of the frizziness and dryness. And I don't color my hair or anything, so luckily I don't think that it was that damaged. I usually, unless I'm going somewhere, try to wash my hair where I can let it air dry. So that is good. I would do this again. I think that you could do it with makeup on because even when I took it out and even though it's damp, you know, it, it didn't get on my face or anything. So it's not messy. There's nothing on my hands. So I think you could do full makeup. And if you were going out later, I think that you could definitely do it, you know, before if you didn't want to wash your hair yet or all the way, but you just wanted to get a little pick me up. I think that you could definitely do this. I think that it's more than just a dry shampoo as far as making your hair feel very soft. So overall, I like it. It was $5 on their site. I think that I would like to try an actual hair mask that you you know put on when it's wet and see. I don't know if I'd really spend $5 just for one hair mask again. I think that if it was on sale, I definitely would get a couple more and just to have on hand and kind of every once in a while do this. I probably won't make a habit of it, um, but it is nice. I think that, you know, overall it's good. It feels soft and 
I think that, you know, if I went to go style it right now, that it would look nice. And the smell, it's not staying with the hair or anything, so that is good if you are sensitive to smell. So I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I tried it. Again, would I go out and purchase a bunch of these at $5 a pop? No. But overall, I think that it's a good thing to have on hand. And I think that if you have dry or frizzy hair, it definitely seems like it would help that. I feel like it smoothed out my hair quite a bit and my hair does get a little frizzy. So, and it's humid here today. So I think that that is definitely a good thing. So I like this, I'm happy I tried it and I would love to know below, have you tried any hair masks that you really like? Have you tried one like this where you just put it on wet or dry? And if you did, you know, do you like dry or using it on wet hair better? I'd love to know. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.